Create some urgency with this awesome countdown section on your store. In this guide, I'm gonna show you how to add one of the coolest features that tons of stores showcase for free. All it takes is a copy and paste into a new section file and you're off and running. This section is nice because it's simple, but creates a sense of urgency for customers visiting your store. This code consists of HTML, Liquid, CSS, and JavaScript, and of course, lots of schema settings for easy customization within the theme editor. If you see some cool e-commerce features that you'd like to learn how to add to your store, then leave a comment and point me towards that UI. I appreciate all the support from you guys, which helps me bring you more free customizable sections like this. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing that we always wanna make sure we do is create a duplicate theme. So just go ahead and create a duplicate theme um, of the current published theme you have. And then what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna use the CLI for this, but if you're not using that, you can just come right into this edit code. It's the same thing. I'm gonna come here to my local environment and I'm gonna start my local server. And then I have my code open here. All right, so let me open up my preview and then I will also open up the theme editor. Perfect, okay, so now what we're gonna do is come to our code and in the sections directory, we're gonna create a new file. I'm gonna call this countdown sale.liquid. And then we have this blank file here. And then what we can do is uh, paste in our code. So you can copy and paste the entire file and that's just gonna make it easier so there's no mistakes. I'm gonna paste it one piece at a time just so I can talk a little bit about it. So the first thing I'll do is paste in the styles here at the top. You'll see that everything is between these style tags here. Um, I'm not gonna point out too much other than to notice that we have this uh, media query here. So these are just styles that we apply on smaller screens. And then we also have a few things here where we're referencing our settings. These are our customizations for things like the color. Looks like that's what we have set here. Um, border, yeah, more color. So like a lot of colors for the text, buttons, and the background of the section. The next thing I'm gonna add underneath this style is gonna be our HTML and liquid code. Now after I paste this in, I'll just take a quick, quick look at it and you'll see that we are adding a few things here um, that we're gonna be able to access via the JavaScript later. So these are gonna be in our settings. And then what we're gonna do is um, look at some of these other things we have conditionals. Basically, this is just making sure that we've set these values and if they don't exist, then we don't wanna show them, right? So uh, we are doing that a few different places. You'll see here, we have like our days, our hours, our minutes, and our seconds here. Starts out with zeros, but then we are able to update that again using the JavaScript. So let's put in that JavaScript. So right below this HTML, I'll paste this in. You'll see that first thing we're doing is we're adding a DOM content loaded. This just means we wanna make sure the entire page is loaded before we start running our code. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the container, we're gonna grab the end date string, which is what's gonna be available in our, um, in our uh, schema settings. And then of course, I leave a console in there, I'll remove. And then um, after that, what we do is we grab that, create a new date object from it, and then the rest of the logic is just making sure that we update that correctly. Um, so the next thing that we can do, and the last thing really, is to put our schema settings in. So right below our script tag, I'm gonna paste this in and everything is going to be between these liquid schema tags. So you'll see right here. Um, I have the name of countdown timer. There's a few different settings here. So we have like the header, the subtitle, um, button text, button link. It's like where the button's gonna navigate us to. The um, end time, of course, that we're setting. And then we also have the uh, days, hours, minutes, seconds label in case you want it to be abbreviated or something like that. So after we add this, we should be able to save, and then we can come back to our uh, theme editor. And if I refresh here, I should be able to go to add section, and countdown should be there. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So we've added this, and I'll just, for the sake of uh, displaying it, I'm gonna add it right below our uh, hero banner here. So after I click into this, you'll see here are all of those settings that we have. So countdown is on. Shop to sell before it ends. So you can see if I type there, it is being updated. Um, so this is what we wanted. And then uh, what we're able to do is, this is important, a uh, couple things here. So the button text, you'll see it says shop now, but that doesn't show anywhere. That's because in the code, we're making sure that we actually have a link here. So I'll just add this to the hydrogen collection. And then you'll see that it does in fact show up. Now the main thing uh, that needs to be in the correct format for this to work is this right here. So you'll see I have a sample here of like how this date needs to be formatted. It needs to be formatted exactly this way. Otherwise it will not work because unfortunately um, Shopify does not have a date picker for the section settings. 
yet. So to make this work, we need to type in a string, which isn't ideal, uh, leaves room for error. But ideally, with this format example, you can copy and paste it and uh, you know format that exactly right so it works. Then we have our labels, of course, for the days. And then comes all the colors, the customization stuff. So just for the heck of it, I will add a button text color. I'll change it to this blue. Cool, and that looks like that works. So now if I save this, I should be able to open up my preview. All right, and everything looks good here. And if I come to inspect it, and I will check on mobile, you'll see that it does a really nice job on mobile. It just converts it so it's on top of each other instead of being side by side. Um, but this is pretty much it. I hope that this has been helpful. And if you like it, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time.